through this vlogmas that I wasn't going to try and do vlogmas for but somehow I have and two it's my Christmas Eve party tonight this is a tradition I've done since oh, way way back when I first started book crossing I think um, I used to always have meetups for book crossing in Christchurch back when there were a lot of book crosses in Christchurch instead of the very small handful of us there are now I shouldn't really even count myself as a book crosser I hardly ever do it nowadays and every Christmas Eve I used to have the meetup at my place and we'd have a Christmas party and we'd exchange books and for a few years we were listening to Jim on the radio who was he worked at a radio station in the UK and I think in Shropshire and he was a book crosser so we used to tune in on Christmas Eve to his show and ring him from New Zealand into his call-in show just to say hi from New Zealand which was always really fun and we'd usually finish off the night with a creating a Christmas book tree in one of the parks nearby so that when people got up on Christmas morning they would find a tree in a book. <laughs> Slowly over the years more and more non-book crossers started getting invited to the party and so it sort of walked from a book crossing meetup to just a pre-Christmas party. It wasn't always Christmas Eve, normally it was because um, my work closes on for Christmas Eve, we get an extra holiday and so it was like a good day to spend the day preparing for a party but um, sometimes just depending if I was going away or whatever the weekend before would be more convenient or some years it's, I skipped it entirely because I was going to be away but generally I've kept up the tradition of having a Christmas Eve party for quite a lot of years so it is, what is it, it's half past seven in the morning. I have a lot of stuff I need to get done today because I, as always, I'm going to way over cater this because there's probably only like half a dozen people coming, but I'm still going to like cook everything. And it's potluck, so everyone's going to like be bringing food anyway, but eh. You can never have too much food at a Christmas party, so I my plan is to make some bread because I haven't made bread for a while and fresh bread is always really nice and some sort of vegetarian tart thing so the vegetarians have something to eat and Something for pudding. I'm kind of leaning towards pavlova because now that I've finally like broken the I have never made pavlova drought, it's like I can make pavlova again. <laughs> so that's that's the plan. It might change as the day goes on. So I think what I might do now is switch the camera from me talking to it mode to fast forward mode and just leave it running until the battery runs out and see what happens. You can watch the extensive preparations. <laughs> Pavlova will look a lot better once it's got cream on it because it kind of broke apart when I was trying to get it off the baking paper but eh, once there's enough cream and fruit on top you'll never know and it will taste good anyway don't forget to do all those nice internet-y things like liking and subscribing and I will see you next time Merry Kerry Hermete Internet Music